You guys asked for it, so I'm going to give it to you. Today, we're going to look at how to set up triple monitors and optimize them for Dirt Rally 2.0. This is Trauma Team Racing. Welcome everybody to the channel, my name's Scott, and if this is your first time here and you find any of this remotely useful, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, I'd really appreciate it. I will also leave links to my further triple screen setup videos at the end of this video if you so wish to explore them. As always, we're going to break this tutorial down into several sections. Firstly, we're going to look at how to set up NVIDIA Surround. Now, we need to do this because Dirt Rally 2.0 does not feature native triple screen support. If you don't wish to use NVIDIA, you can use, I believe, AMD's Infinity, but I don't have that, so I'm not able to demonstrate it. Or you can use a piece of software called Simple Runtime's Window Editor, which I will explain how to use. In the second section, we're going to look at how to calculate your correct field of view and also how to measure your monitor angle correctly. In the third section, we're going to look at how to physically measure your monitors correctly, including bezel width. And then finally, in the fourth section, we're going to look at how to take all of that relevant data and input it into Dirt Rally 2.0 to optimize it to make sure it's running as best as it can with your triple screen setup. So, let's get going. Now, just to make you aware, there will be some repetition from my other triple screen setup videos, as I wanted all of these instructional videos to be a one-stop shop. So if you don't need a section, please skip ahead using the chapter markers below. Setting up NVIDIA Surround. Unfortunately, Dirt Rally 2.0 does not have native triple screen support, so you need to use software to span your screens. My main method is using NVIDIA Surround, which is detailed here. You can also use AMD's iFinity software if you have an AMD graphics card, or if you wish to avoid both of these, you can use SRWE, Simple Runtime Window Editor, and this was covered in my triple screen tutorial for Assetto Corsa Competizione. If you wish to see this, please click the link showing now. First, you are going to want to go to the Start menu and open up NVIDIA Control Panel. Here, you are going to want to click on Configure Surround, select Span Displays with Surround, and then hit Configure. This will open the Setup Surround window, and at this point, you must note the order of your screens. Here, they are displayed in large white numbers. Working from left to right, they are numbered 2, 3, and 1. Now click Enable Surround. The screens will go black while this enables. At this point, drag the monitors in the display window into the correct order you noted before, 2, 3, and 1. Now click Apply to order the screens correctly. Now we need to correct the alignment for the bezels, and this is done with these two figures. This is done visually from where you will sit, so increase the numbers until it looks correct. For me, this number sits at 44. Once this is set, click Apply again. The screen will once again go black as this sets. Now go to the Resolution menu and select Bezel Corrected Resolution. Make a note of this now. Once selected, click Apply again, and then Surround with Bezel Correct Resolution will be enabled. Calculating the correct field of view, FOV. To calculate this, we are going to need some help from a free online tool available at this address. I will put the link in the description below. Once opened, you will be presented with this window. Here, you can adjust your parameters to obtain your desired field of view. For me, I wanted to make sure that all of my peripheral vision was covered, so I aim for 180 degrees. Firstly, make sure your screen size is set to 16.9, and then input your screen size, minus 32 inches. Select triple screens from the drop-down menu. You will then need to input your bezel thickness. I'll show you how to measure this later in the video. You can then play around with your distance from the screen and see the required monitor angle to achieve your desired FOV. In my case, I felt that a 60 degree angle would work well with my room and a distance of 62 centimeters away from the monitor felt comfortable. But you can play around with these figures as you desire, but once selected, you must stick to them. To better understand this, let's look at this on a diagram. To achieve a 180 degree field of vision, my eye line needs to be in line with the most proximal edge of the monitor the circle here illustrating my head. My screen size is 32 inches, adjust this for your own size. The distance from screen is the distance from my eyes to the panel monitor. To achieve my required field of vision, I need to be 62 centimeters away, give or take. 
And finally, I must make sure that my triple screen angle is set to 60 degrees. This angle will differ for yourself depending on what you got in the tool. Here the angle is taken from a line drawn from the back of the middle monitor to the angle formed by the back of the left and right monitor. Here this is written in pink. To measure this practically, you will need a digital angle measure, or in this case a set square that has an angle measurer on it. Make sure this is lined up with the middle of the monitor when viewed from the top as illustrated here. Repeat this for the left and right monitor and be as accurate as possible. How to measure your monitors. Measuring up is relatively easy and we need to take two further measurements. Firstly, we need to measure the monitor's total width. Finally, we want to measure your bezel's width. This is the distance from the outermost portion of the monitor to the start of the image on your monitor. Here, mine measured 0.7 centimeters. How to optimize Dirt Rally 2.0 for triple monitors. The problem that becomes quickly apparent when trying to set any of this up is that there aren't a lot of tools available to help you get this right, but I will show you how to do this as good as we can. If Codemasters are listening, for Dirt Rally 3.0, please sort it out. The first thing we need to check is that the resolution is set correctly. From the main menu, head to Options and Extras, and then click Graphics. Here, I have made sure my resolution is set to my surround resolution of 7768 by 1440. I also have display mode set to full screen and the aspect ratio set to automatic. Once that is done, head back and head into game settings and then click on preferences. Here, we only have one tool to change camera field of view and it does not give us any degrees to play with. So this has to be done subjectively by feel. For me, I like to run the game in cockpit camera and I find that for my 180 degree FOV triple setup, one click from the left is about right. Counterintuitively, if you max this all the way out to wide, the FOV is really distorted and everything appears really far away. For those who wish to use the bonnet camera, you will need to play around with this and check for you what feels right for your setup. This is all very subjective and hopefully Codemasters sort this out for later games. Once all that is done, head back into the simulator. So hopefully, if all of that has been done correctly, you've now gone from this to triple screen rally mayhem. So, if all things have gone well, you're now going to be able to enjoy upending your favourite rally car on your favourite rally stage in triple screen glory. If you wish to explore further triple screen videos, I've also done them for Automobilista 2, Set of Corsa Competizione, iRacing and Forza Horizon 5. If you found this useful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and if you wanted me to cover anything else, please let me know in the comments section below. As always, look after yourselves, take care, Good night, good evening, good morning. I'll see you in the next one. There's just no place for you in this one. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's not even medical related. Look, look, no, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. I'm not paying you. You're inanimate.